Hey, sweet peeps. Nicole here. I am coming at you with a photo book tutorial. Um, this is just a how to um, create, how to start, I guess, basically a photo book. Um, so what you'll want to do first is you'll want to go to your My Memory Suite 9 icon on your desktop um, and open the software. The first thing that you'll see is this Welcome to My Memory Suite screen. This has um, a kind of a, your saved projects that you've already been working on. Um, you can also choose the, a template if you've got photo book templates that you just want to drag and drop um, to create an album. We've got design, which that's one we're going to use, but we also have auto build. Um, you can automatically create albums um, or projects, excuse me, using the auto build. And you can choose how many pictures you want on your um, each page and then just drag and drop the picture um, into the photo boxes. You can also choose the open, um, open if you don't see your project in here, but it's on your it's saved on your computer, you can um, select that and that will open in as well. So today we're just going to choose the design. Um, and this will pull up this um, professional print options box um, where you can either do a custom size um, or you can choose photo books, calendars, cards, posters, metal prints, canvas prints, social media, and photo gifts. A lot of our customers don't know that we print um, photo gifts like um, coffee mugs and mouse pads and, and there's even a deck of cards you can print out with picture, fun pictures on them. Um, we also have just added um, new social media, um, a social media folder as well. Um, so you can make a Facebook cover, Pinterest cover, Twitter cover, Instagram cover, Google Plus covers, um, and profile pictures in there as well. Be able to export them onto your desktop and upload them directly to your social media. So we also do um, canvas prints and metal prints um, that you can do directly from the software as well. Um, send them to our printer to get them printed, but today we are going to choose the photo books. Um, and we are going to do the 12 by 12. And it looks like I had another album I was working on before. We'll just create a new one. All right, so it will automatically um, fill your 12 by 12 photo book pages. Maybe I shouldn't have chosen that option. <laughs> okay, here we go. So it will automatically fill, um, fill them with 26 pages. Um, you can choose more if you would like to. Um, you can add up to 100. Um, and it comes with a front cover and a back cover as well. So these are your um, preview th thumbnails um, down here. And then um, we've got your, your photo books ready to go. So to the right, you'll see your control panel. This is where you'll be able to work with backgrounds, embellishments, photos, text, shapes and lines, imprints, calendars, word art, paint. Um, this is where you'll check for your um, spelling errors your and your, um, your file errors. Um, then your share, where you can either print it at your home printer, export it um, to be printed elsewhere, you can choose um, to professionally print it through our company um, or you can choose individual pages as well. Um, up to up on the top, these are kind of just quick quick icons. Um, they've got your, your layers, your ruler, um, guides, page guides. Um, you can copy paste an object. Um, you can change your background, your embellishments, um, photos, text, Basically, anything you can do here in the control panel, you can just choose these these icons and it will pull them up as well. Um, we also have quick links in the gallery. This is where I like to mostly work, um, just because it's I feel like it's easier. Um, so I also, to get started, I like to choose the file folder, or the photo folder, that and load it into the gallery. Um, so today, I've got a fun, fun pictures of um, myself, Shannon and Carly, we all three wear glasses, so these are just kind of fun pictures that um, of us in our glasses. So if you choose photos and then choose browse, it will pull up a finder window. And this is where you'll be able to choose uh, your, I like to save things to my desktop. So I did 2018 glasses um, and then just click open. 
and it will automatically populate your pictures in the gallery to the um, left as so you can see what you're working on. Um, so now let's go ahead and click on the backgrounds. Um, so I've already chosen uh, the kit that I want to use today, but um, if you haven't, you'll just want to click on browse. Um, and then this is where you'll find all of your um, kits that are in your that are in your software. These are the, the ones that come with the software. There's also um, the kits that you'll that you've uploaded into your software that you can use here. So now what you'll want to do is um, go into your kit and now it will populate all of your backgrounds. Um, so you can just choose the ones that you want to use and just drag it and drop it onto your page. And it will fill your whole page with the background. Keep in mind that these gray um, lines around your project are the bleed lines. So if you don't want anything cut off, any picture um, cut off, then you'll want to make sure that it's um, in the, like, so if I wanted the sunroof cut off a little bit to my head, then I can leave it there and it'll just get cut off and that's fine. But if I don't, um, you just want to make sure that your um, images are out of the gray. So from there, you can start adding your pictures. Um, so you can either, um, what I like to do is I like to go to photos and then add a photo box, um, kind of move my box around to where I want it on the page. Um, you can make the box bigger by grabbing one of the anchors and um, pulling it. You can tilt it um, to the left or the right to kind of make it a fun shape. You can make make it be fun, fun shapes. And then you can drag and drop your picture into the photo box. It'll have the photo editor so you can adjust uh, the picture rotation. You can zoom in, zoom out. This is for Sean sure got his hair braided by his kids. And so <laughs> he's pulling a funny face. Another thing that's kind of fun is that, um, or not fun, but nice feature of the software is the check marks um, that you'll see in your gallery. So if you've got a lot of pictures uh, that you're working with, you'll be able to check and see, oh, I did use that one. Um, cause I do that all the time. I will scrap a picture four or five times because I forget that I've already done it. So, um, you can also use these other features. We've got the shadow feature. Um, you can adjust the opacity of the shadow. Um, so it'll kind of pop it, pop it off the page a little bit. It's kind of fun. Um, you can also recolor your pictures. Um, if you want to kind of edit them and recolor them, um, there's, the corner, you can choose rounded corners. Uh, you can window your pictures, which is kind of a fun feature. You can make um, button corners, cloud corners. Um, you can color pop. Color pop is a, is a new feature as well. So what you can do with this is you can edit your pictures to be able to bring out, like if you wanted to in this one, bring out the red in my lipstick and blur everything else out, you can use the color pop for that. So it's kind of fun to, um, if you've got pictures of flowers or um, something in the background, um, like if we wanted to make Carly's um, car um, seat covers pop a little bit more in the background, we could do that. Um, there's also, you can also add shapes, make your pictures into shapes. Um, it's kind of fun. Oh, rectangles aren't really, already a rectangle. Um, let's see, you can make it into a triangle. You can make your picture into a triangle. Um, you can also rip your, your pages 
rip your um, photos. It's kind of fun. Um, you can choose the rip width, how ripped you want them. Um, you can blur the edges. So if you like those 80s pictures, you can blur them out. Um, and just kind of other, just other features that you can kind of play around with um, that, are, that are fun with that. You can also add text, um, a text box. Glasses are cool. You can change the font. Um, you can change the color, black, white. Um, you can choose color and then be able to either choose a palette. You can choose a color picker. So if you like um, one of the another color that's in an, a different background, um, you can choose that. Um, you can adjust the size. You can adjust the spacing, um, align left, center, right, and um, bold, underline, italic. You can change the opacity. Um, you can also adjust the box as well. So you can spread it out. and then um, move it around. Um, there's also, you can add shapes, you can add lines, imprints. You can um, choose to add a calendar, month, year. Um, you can also add word art. Word art is fun. Word art is different from text um, because you can um, make them you can just do a little bit more with your word art. You can fill it um, with a like gradient color. You can fill it with an image, texture. You can fill it with paper, paper background paper, solid colors. Um, you can change the stroke. Um, you can add shadow. You can bevel it. Um, you can add different shapes. Shapes are fun um, because you can. Um, change like you can make them wavy you can wrap them you get if you add a line you can wrap your text around the line um, you can change the font the size the spacing bold italics italics um, you can choose arc options make it more arced less arced um, you can also make them 3d it's kind of fun So um, you can also paint. Um, there are just some fun features that you can mess around with with the software. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the basic, um, just the basic way around the software. Um, you can add embellishments as well. Um, if you click on the little flower, select a category, purchase, and choose, choose the kit that you want to use. Um, and then from here, same thing, you just drag and drop it onto your layout. You can adjust the size, um, move it around, um, just, yeah, just get, get creative with it, have fun with it. Um, this is really it. Um, what I like to do is just I like to just experiment, just see what things do, click on something and and see what it does. Um, yeah, there's really no wrong way to, to use the software. So thanks for watching, guys.